Hey guys. Okay, so I want to give y'all an update of where we're at on this uh, on this truck and what we got going on. We're in between log jobs right now. Our next job, thankfully, is going to be right here at home. We're going to be cutting our neighbor's timber uh, right next door to us here. Uh, but we've got to get our log truck in better shape before we do that. And I know last video we posted was of me and Skylar pulling the drums off and getting hubs off of this old truck and uh, getting all the brakes off. And this last week, we had a drum we thought was bad. I spent the whole last week trying to track down parts and then looking at converting it over to hub pilot versus just leaving it open center. Uh, spoke hubs. And for what it is, an 88 model truck with a gasoline engine with 260,000 miles on it, we've made the decision, business decision, to just leave them spoke hub. It's, it's not worth it to go to hub pilot. Uh, the amount of money we would have in it would just be far more than what the truck would be worth. So, uh, we have decided to stay with spokes. We've got the drums figured out now. Uh, one thing that we are gonna do before we put it all back together, and as y'all can see, you know, it's still apart. It's still on blocks. Uh, we are gonna sandblast and repaint all the rims and the hubs and drums and all that good stuff. So it'll make it look better. I've got all, like I said, I've got all the brake parts now that we need to go back together with fresh brakes and have everything working like it should. Uh, I'm actually gonna take pressure washer and clean it up real good uh, today. And then hopefully after we get these rims and stuff blasted next week, we can paint it and put it all back together. But I, I wanna show y'all something we've got on our mind. Uh, we're gonna go to a solid rim and 11 r 225 tires this truck come with 10 r oh uh, excuse me with 10 dash 20s on it and they were a tube tire type design of a bias tire and the back has split rims on it and i want to show y'all what a split rim is uh you can see right here see right there how it's got that gap in it and see this has got a ring around that uh rim these have to be put together see like right here see that that gap these rims have to be put together whenever the tires are mounted on it here's another one and these are all the rear tires as i was just telling y'all uh <clears throat> but the deal is y'all these split rims are real dangerous and not a lot of tire shops like fooling with them and 10 20 tires you can still get them, but they're not as common anymore as like an 11R225 or some of the low pro versions of the 11R225 rims, uh, excuse me, uh, tires. Uh, so what we've done, I uh, had a friend of mine off of Facebook that had some 11R225 rims. I bought four rims from him and uh, <clears throat> now we're gonna get some new tires for the rear, the rear tires are looking pretty rough. So we're gonna get rear tires to go on those newer rims. They're one piece rims, a radial type tire, tubeless. They'll ride better. They'll be easier to maintain and they'll be easier to get parts for. But in the meantime, we're gonna, we're gonna get all the new rims, the, well, <laughs> new to us rims. We're gonna get them sandblasted as well as the front. <clears throat> now the front tires and rims, they're already one piece. So all we've got to do with them is just have them uh, removed, have the tires removed off the rims. I'm gonna have them sandblasted while I'm doing the rest and repaint them and then just put the steer tires back on because steer tires look pretty good. They're Firestone Virgin tires and uh, they look pretty good. So we're gonna put them back on. And it's been a fiasco to be honest with you. I was hoping I could just bang, 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 knock this video out for y'all, you know, so y'all could see the removal, you know, then reinstalling the hubs and drums and then i was going to do a third video on uh putting the tires back on that never, my plans don't ever work like i really want to so i just wanted to give you all this updated video and let y'all know what in the world we have got going on and what we've been doing uh the mules are still out there they're doing good they're eating good they're having a good time taking some time off uh mules are doing good my colts are coming along real good uh i've actually got to reshoe them uh they're doing shoeing a reset and reshoeing so i'm gonna try to get some video of that for y'all over the next few days especially the colts because i know i told y'all i would follow up with you and let you know how the colts are handling their feet uh they're a little over a year old now 
and they're coming along pretty good uh lord willing something don't happen uh probably around the middle or about the start of the summer next year i'll start uh breaking them to work but anyway i wanted to show y'all this show y'all what we had going on let y'all know what was up and keep you in the loop y'all take care and stay tuned and we'll have more for you soon